Mashigiri Chura. Mashigiri Chura. This is a circle technique going straight to the side huh, of your opponent. So if you're kicking, you're kicking his side here. Yeah. And again, you want to. I'm showing you the basic to develop the correct technique. Now, for actual using it, like in a competition fight or in self defense, you will do it slightly quicker. But that is after you learn the correct movement and develop power, speed, and technique. So, for this technique, you want your foot up to your side. You can come a little bit closer. You want it up to the side here with your toes pointing this side. And from here, you turn your body in and you straight your foot out and you come back. Like here, and then you put your foot down. This is to develop the power, the speed, to actually use this as a usable technique. So again, you want to come up to the side and you rotate with your foot bent. You stretch out your foot, take it back and you come down. This is the complete basic Momoshigiri. So up, rotate in, and come back. And the same on the other foot, up to the side, you rotate inside, kick, and come back. Again, as a beginner, you can, for example, use a wall to support you, so you can keep your balance, and then it's be easier to do it standing on your own. Hmm? But this rotate, this pivot, this is vital to have good technique with this Babashigiri. Huh? It's what gives it power. And for a lot, for most every technique that we do, it's this rotating motion. Even though you don't see it in this big scale like this, it's what gives the technique the power. Huh? So again, slowly up. Rotate your body, your heel has to come towards your opponent, you kick and then you come back. If I stay this way, again, you should try and keep your body balanced, but some people have to pivot because the joint in the hip doesn't allow it. Huh? So you come up to the side towards you guys now, and then I pivot, kicking up, stretching my foot, come back. I'm trying to keep my body up and I come back. If I stay this side, up to the side, keep the balance, again, support yourself in the beginning. You rotate, keep your hands up, keep your balance, keeping your body up, kick, kick out, come back, and you put your foot down. This is not easy, this takes practice and repetition. Huh? I have knee done now, I do, I do this for 25 years and it's still challenging. Huh? So, and everything is challenging when you do it 100% correct and slowly like this. You can do it quickly and then it's easy to cheat. So try and teach yourself 100% basics and then you will be a king or a master at it. Huh? So we will try and do 10 with count. Again, keep your balance, keep your hip up, the hands up, and focus now. It's to the side. Ni. Sen. Chi. Go. Ro. Sit. Hat. Ku. Chu. There you have it. Mabashigiri. Chuda. And you're hitting. You're hitting. If you're fine, if you're doing it like. Like for basic, uh, like stepping back and forth, it's okay to imagine you're hitting with your wrist. If you're fighting in a street fight or in, a, in like a competition fight, then you have to use your shin. Huh? If you use your shin, it's strong. If you use your wrist, it has many, many, many small bones that can easily be fractured. So you have to use your wrist, sorry, your shin for fighting. You can also use the toes, but that's another video. Huh? 
and also more traditional grappa, but very, very effective using the toes. But that's even more training. So please enjoy the video. See you again soon. Peace.